Hello everyone and welcome to this basic tutorial for automation envelopes in Reaper. Automation envelopes can be used to automate any parameter you can think of on a track within Reaper, which allows you to automate volume, panning, and all kinds of other parameters depending on the FX that you're using on your track. And I will quickly guide you through how envelopes work, what they do, what you can change, how you set them up, and all this kind of stuff in this video. See you after the intro. Well, before explaining everything that you need to know about the basics of automation envelopes. I've created a test track here with some small audio recording, which we are going to use for demonstrating automation envelopes. And that's what it sounds like. This is a little test recording for demonstrating automation envelopes in Reaper. There we go. What are automation envelopes? You can think of an automation envelope like a curve, which you can define by placing points onto the timeline of the given track, and you can decide how the curve between two points should look like. We'd look like a linear connection between two points where the start of the transition from one point to another be faster than the end, with the end be faster than the start. All of this can be freely configured and I will show you how to do this. First of all, you need to select the track. Let's do this. One arm, one item. Here we go. We've got the track selected. And now you can, for example, show the envelope for the volume. Let's do this. Press Control Alt V. Show track volume envelope. Now, envelopes in Reaper work the way that you have to show them first so that it can select them and place points within the envelope. We now showed the volume envelope before doing that. The envelope was hidden, so we couldn't edit it or access it. Now we can. And we do this by pressing Alt L. Volume envelope on. Just like, for example, Control Left and Control Right select the next and the previous item, Alt L and Alt Shift L will select the next and the previous envelope on that track. We've now selected the volume envelope. And now what we can do is place an envelope point wherever we want on this track. For example, we can place one at the very beginning of the track, which we do by pressing Alt Shift E. Set envelope point value dialog value and it's selected 0, 0.00 dB. Now Osara and Reaper have already figured out what kind of value we want to set on this envelope. This envelope specifies its range in decibels, so we can set it in decibels too, and it will automatically try to determine the start value of our current point. And since our volume is set to 0 dB right now, it recommends us to use 0 dB as starting value, which is fine, we will do that. Now, let's check out this dialog. Position. And it selected 1.1.00. So if you want to set it to a totally different position, you can freely type in the position here. My project is currently set to beats, bars, and all this kind of stuff. So if you change that to minute seconds, you would have a typical minute seconds time in here. Right now it is one one because we are at the very beginning of the project. Okay button. Okay. Cancel button. Cancel. Obvious, right? Now the really interesting fun comes in. Shape. Combo box linear collapsed. And that's the shape. Let's go over those real quick. Let's jump to the very, very first entry here, which is linear, the default one. As I've already said before, linear allows us to connect two points in a linear way. If you have two points, you would directly connect those two points by drawing connection from one point to another with a pen. That's a linear connection, right? Square. Square connection means that the value will not change until you hit the next point. For example, if you imagine a volume automation with a square 
curve connecting a point at 0 dB and a point at minus 10 dB, instead of slowly moving from 0 dB to minus 10 dB over time, it will stay at 0 dB until the point in time with minus 10 dB is reached, and then it will immediately jump down to minus 10 dB. That's what squared is. Slow start slash end. This is exactly what it says. It starts slowly and it ends slowly in the middle part is a bit faster. Fast start. Fast start will start kind of steep, but will end rather slowly. Fast end. This is the total opposite around. Bezier. And we have the Bezier curve shape. I've never used this before. It's a kind of fancy looking curve. Um, probably don't need this. And that's already it. So let's have a linear curve here. Linear. And tab once more. Bezier tension slider 0 0.00. There's the Bezier tension actually used to describe how the curve is meant to work, kind of manipulated by using the previous combo box. Bezier tension. Edit selected 0 0.00. And as usual in Reaper, you don't just have a slider, you also got an input box. Value. Edit selected 0, 0.00 dB. And that's it. Let's say we want it to have 0 dB, which is fine. Unsaved project repo v6 points. Now we select the item one, 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 zero, one. and go to the end of it. And now let's say we want the volume to be at minus 10 dB at the end of the recording. So we select the track, one arm, one item. press Alt L to select the next envelope, because by default, if you select a track, no envelope will be selected. So we select it with Alt L. Volume envelope arm, track view. And then we create a new envelope point with Alt Shift E. Set envelope point value dialog value. Edit selected 0, 0.00 dB. Now we want this to be at minus 10, so 0, 0, 0 dB unselected. Dot. Dash one zero. And we want this to be a linear curve. Let's press enter. Unsafe. The important thing to remember, and this is what people kinda mess up, is that whenever you want to change the curve, the first point we define the curve for the connection to the next point not to the previous one so if you want a slow and steady volume reduction from one point to another you would have to configure the curve on the first point where the automation starts and not the curve where the automation ends that's something that you have to remember now let's demonstrate this go back to the beginning of the project percent and play this is a little test recording for demonstrating automation envelopes in Reaper. There we go, right? But now, what if you actually decided, well, this is great, but I want a different curve shape, or I want to change my value from 0 dB to something totally different. Can we go to all the points that we have on our automation envelope? And of course there is. Let's press Alt-L. Volume envelope arm. And now we can freely move between the automation envelope points by pressing Alt-J and Alt-K. J to go to the previous point, K to go to the next point. Point zero value, zero point zero zero dB linear. And the next one. Point one value minus ten point zero dB linear, but three B through fifty four percent. Isn't that great? Let's go to the first one again. Point zero value, zero point zero zero dB linear, but one B one zero percent. And how can we edit this with Alt-Shift-E again? Set envelope point value dialog value edit selected 0, 0.00 dB. Awesome. Let's change the curve shape. Press shift tab a few times. Bezier tension. Bezier tension slash shape. Combo box linear collapsed. Let's say we want this to be a different curve shape. Square. Slow start slash end. Fast start. How about a fast start? Let's press enter. Unsaved. And play. This is a little test recording for demonstrating automation envelopes in Reaper. So you might have noticed that it started rather quickly and slowed down when closing in on the second point that we set on our automation envelope. Now, what kind of envelopes do we have here? Almost everything that you can think of. For example, we also have a pan envelope, which you can show pressing Ctrl, Alt and P. Show track pan envelope. And now we can switch between those by pressing Alt L. Volume envelope arm, pan envelope arm, volume envelope arm, pan envelope arm. And so on and so forth. But there's more. Let's, for example, instantiate a compressor on this track. Press F. Add FX to track one dialog filter. Combo box collapsed. Edit blank. Let's search for recomp. R E A C O M P. List one list. V S T. Ray comp. Cocos. One to one. FX. Awesome. Now, how can we automate whichever parameter we want? We press escape to get out of this. Unsafe. 
Select our track. One arm, one item, pain. Press P. FX parameters dialog. This will get us into the parameters list. Now, we have to just quickly change the parameter that we want to automate via an automation envelope. Let's say we want to automate the threshold for whatever reason. We have the threshold selected here. Ratio, one threshold, zero. Let's do that. Press tab once. Value. Slider plus 0 0.0 dB. Let's just wiggle this ever so slightly. Press up and down once. Plus 0 0.1 dB. Plus 0 0.0 dB. Great. That should do it. Let's escape out of this. Unsafe. And now press Control Alt L. Show track threshold slash ray comp envelope. That is necessary because Control Alt L shows the envelope for the last touch parameter. So you just have to touch it means that you have to change it for whatever reason. And then you can show it with Control alt l And this will show the envelope. And now we can cycle between our envelopes. Volume envelope arm, pan envelope arm, threshold slash rate comp envelope arm. Now, if you are feel that you will at some point have a lot and a lot of envelopes and you want to get rid of them, our context menu is selection sensitive. So if you have selected an automation envelope last, then you can now press context menu, context menu, menu. and you will get a context menu for that envelope. Clear or remove envelope. C. And there is a option called clear and remove envelope by pressing the up arrow once, which you can use Unsafe project repo visit. to get rid of the envelope. Volume envelope arm, pan envelope arm, volume envelope arm. The delete key is context sensitive. As well. Let's go to the volume envelope. Pan envelope arm. Volume envelope arm. Select the last point. Point zero value. Point one value minus ten point zero dB linear bar three B two fifty four percent. And press the delete key. One point removed. Great, right? R one B. Start of the project. This is a little test recording for demonstrating automation envelopes in Reaper. Nothing's happening. Why? Because we don't have a point where the curve needs to be drawn to. Although we have a starting point, we don't have an end point. So Reaper doesn't do anything unless we put a point later in time on this automation envelope. There's a lot more to automation envelopes. You can copy them around. You can cut them. You can apply them to multiple tracks. You can even write them by learning FX parameters to any kind of controller. For example, a complete control controller, and then record them while turning the knob on your complete control controller or whichever other CSI-like controller you have. There's so much more to it, but this tutorial is really just meant to be a basic introduction to automation envelopes, and you can really, really do a lot with them. I'd say it's one of the most basic and most important things you need to know about Reaper and about modern DAWs in general. And now you know how to use them and can start fiddling around with all kinds of crazy automations and all kinds of crazy effects that you can generate by automating parameters on various plugins like saturation, filters, EQs, and all this kind of stuff. Like filter sweeps are so common in modern electronic trance music and stuff. So really figure out some crazy ideas and start experimenting on your own. Thanks for watching this video. We've just recently reached 300 subscribers on this channel. It's really, really awesome to see that you seem to enjoy my videos. If you've got any ideas or any questions, let me know in the comment section below the video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks and until next Monday. Bye bye.